Good evening, Admiral, fellow naval aviators and friends of naval aviation from the flight deck of the USS George Herbert Walker Bush. I'm Nora Tyson, Commander, Carrier Strike Group 2, and the George Herbert Walker Bush Strike Group. It's an honor to be there with you tonight. Congratulations to all as we celebrate 100 amazing years of naval aviation. Here with me are the commanding officer of this great warship, Captain Brian Lex Luthor, and the commander of the world's finest air wing, Carrier Air Wing 8, Captain Jeff Davis. I'll turn it over to them for a few comments. Lex? Thank you, Admiral, and good evening to all. Having a living namesake who is also a naval aviator provides us a unique perspective on the history of naval aviation. He provides us a living link between the past and the present. And just as he was 18 years old when he joined the Navy, so we have 18-year-old sailors on board today. There have been many generations of Americans who have served in naval aviation over the last 100 years. Each generation has answered a call to serve, and for some, the need for their service was great. Our namesake is one who answered the call at such a time. However, I do not wish to take away from the service and sacrifice of any generation. We shall always honor those, like our namesake, of the greatest generation. I would like to take this moment to pay tribute to the heart of naval aviation, our sailors. I honor their commitment, their skill, and their courage. To me, the service of our sailors has made them the greatest of each generation. I'd like to close with some words from our namesake. I've asked Captain Luther to give my greetings to all of you there celebrating the anniversary of naval aviation. The greatest honor of my life has been having an aircraft carrier named for me. You, more than most, can imagine what that means to an old naval aviator. I am so proud of this ship and the men and women who serve her. George H.W. Bush, number 41. Thank you. Cag? Thanks, Admiral. Lex, what a privilege it is to be here this evening on the tip of the spear on this historic occasion. Dovetailing on Lex's comments, I want to say what an honor it is to share this celebration with the young men and women, the naval aviators, the true Kona legacy here on the mighty George Herbert Walker Bush. I remain proud and awestruck watching these young naval aviators, our national treasure, launch day and night in the harshest environments in the finest aircraft our nation provides to defend our values, our freedoms, and reassure our allies and partners. Just like those of you who came before them, they are our nation's best. They are the Centennials and the Sentinels. They are tempered in combat, sacrificed a country, and steeped in service to their fellow aviators. Right now, here at sea, or flying from bases ashore, I am confident is the next James Stockdale, the next Wade McCluskey, or the next George Herbert Walker Bush. They are naval aviation. Just like those celebrating 100 years of tradition tonight, you, they, are our nation's heroes, our nation's best, and I am proud and humbled to be part of that legacy. Again, sir, it's great to see you. It's an honor to command the same strike group you commanded and a strike group whose namesake is a naval aviator, a former president, and a great American. We're honored to be a part of this celebration tonight. We just wish we could be there with you. But life is good out here with about 5,000 great Americans who are proudly continuing the legacy of naval aviation. They inspire me every day with their incredible commitment, courage, and teamwork. Any of you who've seen an aircraft carrier and her crew in action understand what it takes for the team to perform the incredible ballet we call flight ops. We're just days away from completing an extremely successful seven month deployment to the fifth and sixth fleet AORs where the George Herbert Walker Bush strike group team demonstrated the flexibility and the forward presence that are unique to naval aviation and essential to ensuring the security, the prosperity, and the vital interests of the United States and its partners around the world. So happy anniversary, enjoy the evening. Thanks for letting us be a part of it and we hope to see you all soon.